I have been wearing sock curls for like maybe a year and a half and that's like two days a week for like however long that is so i have lots of experience my friends have been actually really annoying the last video the sleepover i did riley saw curls she woke up she liked them then she showered and then she's like why is my hair not curly anymore make it make sense anyways here's my long-awaited sock curl tutorial i like to use fuzzy socks it comes out better i did have a bit of a unicorn phase so i take the opening of one sock and i put the other one inside of it this is gonna pull apart a hair elastic I put it around the middle so now they're connected if you don't pull it apart aggressively then it's fine okay so here's my little stack ignore that i have one of those like revlon hairbrush thingies my hair is like not natural by any means it doesn't have to be super straight I just don't like it when it's like has my natural poofiness so now i'm gonna show you this is the hair oil that i use it's too chic antifreeze and binding serum oil it's from like either marshall's or tj maxx it works really good i have the olaplex one i don't really like using it for sock curls i prefer to use it like after i blow dry my hair or like before I straighten it or something. I'm gonna use dry shampoo. This is the one that I use. Even if you just wash your hair, the sock lays flat on your head. So dry shampoo makes it like more voluminous. And now I'm gonna section and comb out my hair. So now it's time to actually put the socks in my hair. This is a no screenshot zone. Make sure you put it like in the middle, like not far back. So put it in the middle, claw clip, over like this. Um, period. It's giving Lord Farquaad. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. It doesn't really help that these socks are really dark. First, I'm gonna take a half inch section, like the first piece next to my part, and I take the sock and I go around it like this. Take more hair from the front. Don't go like this and get all of the hair in the back you don't want that so then i wrap it around do a bigger piece of hair around the sock again add hair to the section again so add more hair now i got a bigger section and i wrap it around i grab more hair the remaining hair on the bottom pick all of it up try to get the two sections even, move it towards your face and cross over so that now they're on opposite sides. And then you just cross over in the back and then cross over in the front and then cross over in the back and then cross over in the front and then keep doing that. I like to leave my ends out a little bit and I secure it. Now I'm gonna do the other side. So I take the section, I wrap it around the sock, away from my face, add more hair, I wrap it around the sock, do it again. I add hair and I take bottom section towards my face and I cross over in the front, cross over in the back, keep doing that and I leave my ends out. But you can keep your ends in. Whatever floats your boat. Then take out the claw clip, because that hurts when you're trying to sleep. And there's going to be some hair that, like, didn't totally make it and looks a little crazy. But you can just tuck it in. It usually doesn't look this crazy. It's maybe 2 p.m. at latest. So I'm going to take these out and, like, go on with the rest of my day and then put them back in. And I will show you before I go to bed. Hi guys, it is 9.30. I obviously redid them. My friends, I just got off FaceTime with them and I sent them the tutorial like so far and I fully expected them to like give up and like be uninterested. But um, they pulled through and all of them got it to work except for Allie who doesn't answer the group chat. I will try to get results from them in the morning. I'm getting ready so I'm just gonna take them out on camera. Um, Side note, don't do this when your hair is wet. I told Caroline not to. She did anyways. Um, and now she's blaming me for having bad hair. 
Wet hair plus sock curls equals badness. It looks a little crazy. So yeah, that's how they look like. Um, I'll show you when I get home from school. And also, I will interview people at school. <laughs> okay, I have to leave like right now, but here's what the back looks like. Hi Hannah, how was your soft curl experience? It was great. Would you consider your life changed? Um, yeah, it just really hurt when I slept. It was really uncomfortable. And they were pretty frizzy, so I don't I don't really know. Probably. What's your rate out of 10? Um, 8 out of 10. How do you feel about your soft curls? You don't have soft curls, they're not there. I know, they fell in. That was fast. I had to sleep straight all night. And it was really uncomfortable. I'm probably just gonna curl my hair regular. Do this Riley, let me see your hair. Oh, it's so good. Would you consider your life changed? Yeah, it's changed for the worse. I'm suing you, Stella. It didn't turn out good. Would you agree that I told Caroline not to do it with wet hair? Yeah. I think you were clear enough with your instructions. You didn't I think you should put in the video that you can't do it with wet hair because I didn't know until like I was on FaceTime with you. To make it change, you should add it to the video so people don't make the same mistake I did. This girl literally insisted that she do it with wet hair after I specifically told her not to, so I don't know what you want from me. And turn out with frizzy hair. I mean, I thought my hair turned out pretty good. Maybe, just maybe, that's because Hannah followed the instructions. Okay, you're kind of like gorgeous. Mine, and not like that. I think it's just you. I think you're the problem. So put in the picture, I think right here, put in the picture. You can insert pictures. Yeah. yeah. Insert a down? picture of me right here. Insert a picture. picture. What picture would you like, Allie? Um, <laughs> it's my phone. Good God, man! You almost got that cheese touch. 